In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down why double post is becoming one of the best concepts out of the gun bunch, one of the most reliable routes to be able to beat man coverage, and something you could truly build a scheme around. Now in this video, we're gonna be in the Colts playbook. I'm in the bunch offset formation. The Colts playbook, in my opinion, has a really good bunch. It has bunch trail, it has flood, it has uh, double post, it also has mesh post, uh, if you want a different type of post route. Uh, and then it also has this really, really good tight slots halfback week, where you can run flood, you can run bench, mesh spot, a lot of really good concepts. Um, in the Colts playbook this year. If you want to get my entire ebook, that's going to be in the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description. But let's take a look at this double post. And again, Patreon members get access to all the ebooks, all the updates. 10 bucks gets you access uh, to everything over there. But why is double post so good? Double post so good for a couple different reasons. Um, the only adjustment that we're going to make today is we're just going to drag this slot receiver. And this route to the right is the one of the best man beating post routes in the game. And it's really good specifically for off coverage man. So for example, let's say they're doing, you know, some backed off man coverage concepts, uh, which is actually, you know, a lot of people are shifting uh, to more of a baseline or backed off alignment. This little angle post just destroys man coverage over the middle of the field. And if they don't have safety help, um, that's going to be a touchdown, right? Uh, a lot of times going to be a big play over the middle of the field. Now, you might be asking, okay, well, how does this play do uh, specifically against, you know, some type of, you know, maybe press man-to-man -man coverage? So let's say they do, you know, more of a standard coverage and they actually press out of it. How does this route work against that? What you'll see right here is typically um, he's still going to get that light up and you see he still gets that animation where he's able to win over the middle of the field. Now, the one thing you have to watch out for is if they have a zone over on the left side. So I'll show you an example. So let's say we did something like this where we have a third there and then we put a half over here and then we man this guy up. That outside third, depending on where you throw this route, um, that outside third can either you know not be affected or be effective in the in defending the route. So you just want to be kind of careful, throw that before it gets to the third, and you're going to be good. So as you can see, it beats press man, it beats off coverage man. Um, one other kind of type of man coverage is shaded down man coverage out of like two man under. Let me just show you that real quick. So if they do run shaded down man coverage, you see he does press him, but you get that nice lineup animation if you have short and elite and it's going to continue to cook man. So this gives us a very reliable route that we can use uh, to attack man coverage. Now, what about cover zero pressure? This is one of the best concepts in the game this year. It's quick throw in these wheels against you know quick man coverage. Oftentimes you're gonna go right into an instant tackle battle where you can easily just uh, spam X or A depending on the console you're on and you have uh, some capabilities to be able to attack uh, the coverage that way so you know again you have this really quick route to the tight end that you can just throw out there super quick and uh, try to attack man coverage that way now i'll show you some other stuff here in just a second with the with this play uh just in terms of how good it is against man but you know you can always throw this high ball get that instant tackle battle if you break that tackle now you've got a big play um against man coverage now on this left side i do think it's important to talk about um Really the C route, so uh, I'm going to show you a, a different type of man coverage in just a second as well, uh, but I did want to go over kind of this, this C route on uh, the left side of the screen. So what you'll see on this left side of the screen here is if you have the short out elite, he will light up and beat man coverage, but I will also say one of the other things that's interesting about this specific C route, let's say they put an outside third defender uh, over here, maybe they drop some zones, right? But let's say they put an outside third defender over there on that C route. What you'll notice is this is a sharper cutting C route. And so he'll actually beat an outside third. Um, if they have a KO, yeah, they might knock it out. Um, but this is interesting because it actually gives you some capabilities um, depending on what kind of chess match they're playing on you is if they're giving you this C route, the short cutting C route, um, you'll see right here, actually that time didn't get great separation I threw a little bit too early, but that actually can get open um, against like a traditional outside third defender, depending on, again, a couple different variables, obviously, um, but 
worth a shot um, because again it is shorter see how it rounds more like a deep out route almost and if you can throw that away from the ko that could be a potential dot now a couple of other things to keep in mind one of them is let's say they put a cloud flat over here so if they put a cloud flat over here this cloud flat um he's going to be able to play this pretty well uh there's still a little bit of a window but a cloud flat can kind of play it um if they press you and they put a third that's going to play a little bit better um, than the backed off third. So what you'll see here, again, if you wait on it, though, when he cuts outside, you can kind of, and again, I got to wait on it just a little longer, um, but it doesn't run as sharp. As you can see, it's not it's not exactly what we're used to seeing from C routes, um, but it does give you some different types of windows to throw this into. So I did want to cover this with you guys. Again, if they press him, you just want to wait on him to cut. And then when he cuts, you want to ag back to the ball just like that and kind of keep him away from the KO. And that's actually a read that you can make um, against if they're putting an outside third. Now, another popular adjustment a lot of people like to make in budge is the scissor adjustment, where they basically scissor the left side. This is a pretty good concept for that adjustment because the running back has the corner out leveraged to the middle of the field. So you can easily take that little check down over the middle of the field. And then the other thing that's really good about the scissor adjustment, um, if they are, if that is something that they're doing, if you re-C route, so we're just going to use the hot route master or the outside apprentice C route, he will actually typically be able to beat man coverage uh, to the sideline. He'll get that lineup animation be able to attack over there on that side. So as you can see, there's a lot of different options um, for man coverage. Really the best defense uh, would be something like this. And then on the right side, I did want to show this real quick. This is like a dollar style. So like, let's say, you know, they backed off the cloud and they're going to have kind of a cross man on this post route. This post route still should be able to beat man. Uh, so what you'll see here, he'll get that light up. He'll beat the man coverage inside. Now, if they have that third there, then yes, that third can um, kind of react a little bit to the ball. But obviously these are, you know, sp very specific adjustments to this play. And I'll show you there's still something open. Um, but what you can do is right on the cut, pass it inside, ag it. Um, and you'll you'll be surprised. That was a deep route KO. He's still able to catch it, uh, even though I have deep route KO over there. So, and then the last kind of piece of this in terms of man-to-man -man is if you take a look at this play, really the last kind of funnel if you look to the right, you're going to see here this drag, a great little check down over the middle of the field. So you always have access to the drag route. Um, and then in uh, against zone, what I love about this play um, is the fact that this uh, kind of sharp cutting C route is actually pretty good against zone. Like uh, cover four, cover three, very popular this year. Um, and it, even it gets press cover four. And I have a match coverage on and everything. But if you just watch here, you'll see, like if I wait on this and throw it late, I can kind of ag back to the ball. And it makes it kind of, again, a little bit of a, a thing that you can do. Because again, the reality is they're going to have to, they're going to have to play hard flats on both sides of the field or you're going to throw your drag or your tight end. And then the beauty of that is then you can high ball this over the middle and give yourself a chance to catch the ball. I don't know how we didn't come down with that. But basically, you just want to throw the ball in the middle of the field and ag it. Um, their user is going to be sucked down a lot because they got to defend these quick throws. So you can throw this right in that little pocket right in there. And now what they have to do with their user, if you think about it, is their user really has to commit, hey, I've got to go guard that post. So because their user has to commit and go guard the post, now we can throw this drag in this little pocket right in here, and it kind of really starts to take shape um, of how good this play really can be, whether it be against Mabel, Zone, Man, it doesn't matter. Now tomorrow we'll show you another setup out of this concept that is really good for attacking any kind of cover three, any kind of if they are putting thirds on the field, tomorrow's setup will be a little bit better for that. This is a great little one hot route, one adjustment, and you can snap the ball and have a pretty good concept that can beat Man at a pretty high level. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, head down to the description. Go join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and I'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks.